he says, I agree, but um, do you teach race? Does teaching racism make kids racist? Because can I can I respond to that? So what I'm gonna say is like that's that's my key point. There is tolerance. Is you teach kids tolerance to other people. You teach kids tolerance for other for others. It's not that teaching racism. How do you know? It, well, <laughs> is he red? See, you can see red. See, I I have to speak from experience. So maybe see, Go all ahead. schools are different. So I couldn't speak from experience. Go ahead. If you um, if you teach about racism and tolerance. In my school, mm -hmm. I, I, I can only speak for my school. Um, mm -hmm. People will laugh and make fun. You know, like I remember whenever like we had like talks about Martin Luther King or something like that. Guys would just crack jokes. Like, oh, just crack you can't teach you can't teach kids to be tolerant in school. Do you know where that, that comes from? The parents. Mm -hmm. The teacher cannot teach that child to be tolerant. The parent is who teaches the child because if the teacher tells the child that blah 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 that, and then that child goes home, and then that child now hears his father insult this Chinese dude, insult this black dude, insult this Arabic dude, and so forth, who do you think the kid is going to listen to? The father okay. or the mother that's the idol, or this teacher who, first of all, you hate school already. And most likely you hate the teacher as well. Yeah. So why the heck am I going to listen to you about all be tolerant towards all the races? Be tolerant towards no. I'm going to listen to what my what's it called? I'm going to not really listen. Do what my father does, what my mom does, because see, I knew people. I remember there was this guy in school who I could tell that in within him he was a nice dude. I could tell that he was a, a nice dude. But he was always prone to say racist things. But I knew that deep down he was a nice dude. Because I, I remember, what, what was it called? Um, I remember this dude, and this guy was the, the nicest guy. Nice guy, very soft-spoken, and, and, and so forth. One time we were watching England. No, we were watching Arsenal play. And this is when Henri was still playing for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. And guys, before, and this, this guy was the nicest guy, relaxed, blah, blah. So he obviously had a few drinks. I know what they say. If you're drunk, it brings out the real you. This guy, he walked in, and I think because he saw Henri, he was like, hey, Henri, man, where's your banana, man? Where's your banana? Where's your banana? Blah, blah. I was like, whoa. That's actually because insane. I was shocked because I was like, before, prior to this moment, he was the nicest, coolest. But then I remember when I saw his father. Because, you know, parents used to come, and I was like, I could just tell that you his father there. just had, like, a racist thing about him. So here's the thing. Here's a guy who I know in his nature he is racist. He is a nice guy within him. But he must learn this stuff from his father. So you can't, the school can't teach that child to be tolerant. That's never ever, that's never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. You know? But, you know you're, you're absolutely right. Like schools, schools, they're, they're like, but, but the thing is, HH, is that um, kids are very malleable. They're very, very, they're very impressionable. When mm. you teach them something, they would, they would always, uh, like, even, they, I forgot where I read this, but like, apparently, whenever you're in this class or you're in a lecture or anything, typically you remember 15% of it, even from this podcast, right? Like, for everybody that's listening, let's say it's an hour long, you're only going to really remember just 15% of this podcast. The rest of it, you just might, and that's like when you rewatch something, it's going to be like, oh, I, I, I didn't remember them, them saying that, even though you listened to it, but mm -hmm. your brain only captured 15%. So, you never know when you're teaching when you're teaching kids about this kind of stuff. Like, again, I, I would like to see the curriculum if they are going to implement something like this. Even though I don't feel like this should be implemented, because again, we don't have anything conclusive. Like, you should be teaching kids absolutes. That's how you teach kids literature because that's how you mm -hmm. read. That's why you teach kids math because that's how you calculate. They're absolutes. That's why we teach kids physics because if you want to build, if you want to understand the the mechanics of something, you, this is how you 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 measure it. This is how you 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 calculate the force, the velocity, all this stuff. You want to teach chemistry. We, we we're teaching kids absolutes, things that we know. If you do A and B, you will get C. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like when we teach that stuff, when it comes to abstract abstract thought and debate, you can't teach kids nature nurture and about like this whole stuff when they're like six seven years old like they're barely learning the alphabets and their multiplication tables and you're putting that on their table like i just feel like that's more social that's more social like structuring less so education and, and, and because the the the, the kids it's like that that's like what are we doing here like, well, and, and also is it my thing is people have to understand that me saying that you can't 
teach kids about LGBT does not mean that I am now homophobic. Mm-hmm. Because they'll say that you're homophobic because, oh my gosh, why? Do you think what we're doing is disgusting? No. Kids, see, because people will just take that as a personal insult. No, that's not what we're saying. We're saying that these are kids. They mm-hmm. will find out when they grow up and so forth. They will find out, oh, this is what's stuff out. Why do you, see, this is my, my question. Why do you need to teach kids about this? 